you guys and welcome back to some more F122. Welcome back to Cooper Motors. We have a very exciting week ahead of us here coming off of a not so great hungry performance. We got a point. We got a 10th place. Not bad, but uh, Spa, baby. The Belgian Grand Prix is coming up next, and uh, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. I really love this track, so um, should be a good day. We do have a little bit of time for activities. So we've got three days. We can work on our second driver, who actually, I mean, he's a he's a dog. He was doing pretty well in that last one. We could take some team acclaim in cash. We could boost the morale of all of our departments. I mean, that's actually really not a, a bad choice. I'm kind of stuck between the race simulator, increases experience and awareness by two. I, I got to do that, dude. You got to invest in your second driver. I'm going to turn in him into, you know, the second best on the grid, hopefully. Uh, we've got 1,600 resource points, so let me go in. I'm thinking, let's take a look at chassis. We've been really hyper-focusing on arrows, so we could get heave dampers. We could get cable assembly. That's a pretty big boost. Fuel tank positioning is the biggest one. It's going to take us till the 12th of September. We're going to have a few races in between now and then, but uh, that's all right. We're going to go for that. 42 days for an upgrade. That's insane. I do feel like we need to think about swapping. I guess we're doing okay. We're on race 11 out of 16. So we're around 70% of the way through this season. They don't look bad. You could see how like sometimes they kind of yellow out a little bit. I do feel like we might want to think about changing some stuff. We could definitely change our gearbox. I'm going to take a new gearbox here. I just feel like our energy store was kind of dropping a little bit of energy in that last race, and we're definitely halfway through the season. So I'm going to add that. I mean, technically, we are two-thirds of the way through the season, so we could go to number three on everything. But anything with a three, I think I'm just going to chill on for now. Finally, corporate, we got to change our sponsors. So we got a notification at the end of the last episode that they were up for negotiation. I definitely want to keep PSD. They are fantastic. The other one we had was uh, was Salve, and they were really, really good, but we don't have a rival currently, and we haven't been asked about a new one in a few weeks, so we're missing out on quite a bit of money. The Zero Italia, 1902, achieve a top 14 finish during a race. We're pretty consistent with that, so I, I'm, I'm feeling safe there. Everything's looking pretty good. I don't think there's much else we're going to be able to do here. Let's just kind of advance time, and let's get... Over to Belgium, baby. The F8 Tributo in the rain, baby. 105 miles an hour is going to be our goal. And we are going to be starting at the start finish straight. Taking this first hairpin corner. And then we, I'm assuming, if we're going to be getting up to 105 average or anywhere close to it, we're going to have to have to go up through Radion and Uruz here, baby. Hug the wall, hug the wall. There it is. Oh, shoot. This is going to be so much different than an F1 car. Just try to make it up the hill. Try to keep it between the lines. Shoot. Spun the tires a little bit there. Come on. Take it to the inside. Three, four. Just like that. We got it. We'll take it. All right. In an F1 car, we're pretty much going to be able to do that flat out. Maybe like a small lift. There's not going to be any braking going uphill. Oh, wow. We're going to have a, uh, a fully dry weekend, it looks like. Okay. I'm going to hop into practice here. We're going to put a couple of laps down. I'm feeling pretty confident this track. Though. I'm, I'm hoping, you know, obviously uh, last race was a, a little bit rough. It was a tough one. I, I'm, I'm excited to go back there, though. Like, if we do a season two and stuff, I definitely want to do Hungry again. Just because it was, it was so interesting. It was difficult. And I like that. I've, I want to feel challenged. I want to learn something new. Obviously... I have a lot of challenges in this game that we could, we could, you know, try to start to overcome. Let me get back into our TV pod view. A little bit better view for you guys and um, okay, myself you as well. Dude, I just, I love Spa so much. This is a track where we probably could start to turn... The, the guides and things off. I really, at some point, we need to get there. I would love to even, like, do a season where we, we turn traction control fully off because we've got it on medium here. I don't have it full traction control. But I'd love to turn that fully off. I'd love to turn the, the guides off. I'd love to just really kind of get into it. I just don't know if that would be entertaining videos for you guys. Oh, yeah, we're, we're flat out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Car's looking good, baby. This should be a good weekend. I really don't want to want to jinx this here, but I might. Oh no! I might put in the 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 perfect 
full eat. Oh my gosh, okay. I definitely, I definitely jinxed it a bit. I mean, it wasn't the perfect lap, but I had a, a, a full purple lap going here. You've got so many spots for overtakes here. So many spots to use your energy. Break here. Ooh. Woo! That is purple all throughout. The longest circuit of the season and quali begins now, baby. Here we go. Push it to that 100 marker right there. Come around the uh, the hairpin. We're in P P4 so far. That's uh, P5. All right, we'll take it. Flat out all the way through here. We've been working on our arrow. We've got a lot of grip. You just got to make sure you're keeping it super consistent. DRS. Keep it super consistent, nice and smooth through there. Otherwise, you end up spinning out. Long, long, long track. You can kind of get a little bit creative in here. Hang some tires off. Kind of go beyond the curbs a little bit. We're P7 here, not bad. Coming around here, lift off a little bit. Go all the way to the wall. Don't touch the wall. Stay to the outside. I, is this a lift zone? I think it's a very small tab of the brake. Long corner here. Stay on the gas. Still P7. Norris is up in P1. Paying a lot more attention to, to braking versus lifting, especially after... Budapest in that last one. Here we go. Come on. Flat out all the way till we get to the chicane. Just keep her nice and nice and smooth, baby. Use as much of the track as possible. We're currently P8. Break, break, break. This is an easy spot to mess it up. Smooth onto the gas. DRS. And it looks like we're going to have a P8. Not bad. I like, I, I think we might be able to do something with that. I think we probably could have tidied that up a little bit more. We might even be able to gain a position or two today. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, maybe even good news. It looks a little overcast here. Hoping for maybe a, a little little drizzle could be kind of fun. So we're running 11 laps. I'm going to fuel us to 11.5. I'm going to get aggressive, baby. 26 kilograms of fuel. Let me see what we've got going on here. We can change a little bit. We could come in one lap later. Hmm. I don't really see any any you know adjustments there that we can make. All right, I'm I'm good to go. Hoping for a good day today. I'm hoping we can put in some. Let's put in some solid times here and let's see if we can we can you know hopefully get a couple of overtakes. I mean we're starting P8. This is a good spot to start. Hopefully luck is is going to be on our side today. Very fast circuit though. Just out here in the middle of the woods. Look at all the people. The stands are absolutely packed. And we got fog lifting up out of the trees. Maybe, is it morning time? It might just be morning, and that's why it's a little overcast. The fog and everything is just kind of burning off before the sun comes out. But it, it looks a little sketch. But our forecaster says there's not going to be any rain, so we'll see. It, it doesn't look, I mean, it's, it, it, could, it could change at any moment. You never know. Pretty sure this is like a, a microclimate, because you're up in the mountains, and it can just change on a moment's notice, almost just planted my wing into his rear end right there. We're gonna be on the left side of the grid. We had a not so great, almost horrendous lineup in the last episode. Let's just try to roll. Let's go. Gotta be honest, I'm not happy about being on this outside. I'd, I'd rather be a spot back Put the power down. Ooh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Try to push your push your way inside. Maybe we're not gonna be able to make it down there. You gotta you gotta hold your spot. Up into P7. We'll take it. All right. They're going three wide into Urush. Oh, contact in front of us, dude. Hang in there, Trev. Let's go, baby. All right, I'm going to use some more overtake mode here. Use some more of this battery. Let's go. Let's go. Let's try to catch up to the pack. Heavy draft happening here. They're punching holes through the air in front of us. We want to find those holes and reduce our drag. There it is. Kind of with this, this front pack hanging in there where we can. Sandwich between the Mercedes. There it is. All right, we kind of caught up. Just be smooth, baby. I really like this corner. Get, get wide. Kiss the wall a little bit. Ideally, don't kiss the wall, but just get very, very close. Use the full track. Ooh. Dude, there's just so many beautiful corners you can link up on this, this circuit. Ooh, going wide. 
We're gonna be okay. I feel like we're doing a, a lot of going a little bit too fast into our entry and then having a break to save it, so we need to be careful about that. We learned a lot about that in the last episode. We gained one position in our start. I'm gonna use some, some overtake mode here. We wanna try to stick with these guys. If we can stay with them, through like, you know, getting DRS and stuff. I think we might be able to make some passes on that back stretch. We're, we're looking okay. Gotta be careful about this corner. Woo! That hairpin comes up at you fast, man. My goodness, I'm gonna use a little bit of overtake mode here. See that, there's so many spots to use overtake mode on this track. I just, I don't know. There we go. Use a little bit more here. Come on. We're in that slip, baby. We're sucking up to him. What's up, Ham? Just make sure, make sure you're not, ooh, a lock up, we can go around him, let's go! Oh my goodness, he saw us in the mirrors, he got nervous. He got nervous, baby. This is looking good so far, we're up at a P6, baby. Mm -hmm. Actually put a, a decent amount of space in between us and, and Hamilton as well. Breaking a little bit too hard there, let's even this out, Trev. Can't believe this race is only 11 laps, dude. This is gonna fly by. It's just the laps are so long. I love everything about this track, dude. Every single one of these corners, they're just, they're, they're so, so swoopy and beautiful. So many of them, you can just do almost lose your front wing, but just hit them flat out. Used a little bit of battery there just to kind of help try to catch us up a little bit. I'm gonna use a bit more here. Coming up to the chicane. DRS is gonna be active coming up, so. Let's get a good exit out of the, the turn one and. Might be able to get Perez on the back straight here. I'm gonna use a lot of battery. Not gonna use it going up the hill. I'm just gonna use it to get a little boost. Oh yeah, we're gonna get him. Dude, we're, our car is quick. Our car is quick, a little bit more. DRS, battery, full overtake mode, full everything. Oh gosh, I don't know if we're gonna have enough space. Okay. We're gonna have to have a better exit out of turn one, I think. I don't wanna push it, I, I just, I don't wanna end my race. You know, we, we could have tried to maybe dive bomb him. Oof. I don't think we're gonna be able to make a move there, Trev, but I appreciate the tenacity. Maybe towards the end of the race, if we feel like it's, it's you know, something we can do, but I just, I don't, I don't wanna end our race early going for an unneeded overtake. I would be happy as a clam with a P6 here. We've got that new battery store and everything, dude. We, we, we've got good, good battery. Don't hang your, your tires off, Trev. We honestly could probably use a, a bit more battery throughout the lap. I like that we're staying almost fully charged though, although I think that does increase the wear on it. I think it really wants you to run through it. You know, use it, you lose it, but here we go. Oh, we got DRS here this time. That's gonna help us out. Pit windows open. Got our battery. In lap already. We're already looking at pit stops. I'm going to use a bit more battery this time. More battery. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Get him. Stay in, stay in the slip. Stay in the slip. Go, go, go. Go, Trev. Go. He's defending to the inside. Going to have to break late. Got him. Don't cut him off. Let's go, baby. Oh, my goodness, dude. We are We are racing. We are racing, getting close to that wall. Let's go, all right. Comfortably in P5. We might be able to charge up some battery and maybe be able to, uh, Max is kind of starting to pull away from us. I think we might be more worried about defending from Checo for the rest of this, this race, but we'll see. We need a really good in lap and then a, obviously a good out. I mean, we need a good every lap, but in laps and out laps are oftentimes the most important. Oh, he's gonna get around us. Maybe, no. Oh, we're off in the grass. Okay, going wide, going wide, we're fine. Track limits, I just, I got nervous. I wanted to give him plenty of space. Everyone's going in. 
almost into the wall. Let's go, go, go. Break, break, break. I thought we were speeding, dude. That's a five-second penalty. All right, here we go. Come on, team. Come on, team. We need a good stop. No issues. No issues. What the? We were so late getting out of there. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Let's go, 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 go. Overtake mode. We're still ahead of Hamilton, so that's good. I think we lost some time there. I, I think we definitely lost a, a bit of time there. So we're on to the mediums. It's looking like the, uh, ooh. Hamilton's hunting, baby. He's hungry. I don't think he's going to catch us, though. Come on. Go Tifi in front of us. Looking like the sky's really cleared up here. We got blue skies ahead of us. Things are looking good. I got a, a you know, a, a goat in front of me and a goat behind me. Let's see if we can make something happen here. Come on. I want to pass Latifi. Let's get another overtake. We're going to pass him on that, the back open stretch. I think that was not, not our best, our best corner right there. Hamilton's hunting. Doors closed. Good, sir. Sir Hamilton. Sire. Woo. Here we go. This is where we're going to pass. Pass Latifi, I think. Overtake mode. Drafting. There it is. Give me some space there, bud. Thank you. Woo. Had to lift a little bit. All right. There it is. Whoa, teammate is in the pits. I I saw that pop up, and for whatever reason, I thought there was going to be like some sort of a, uh, a crash in front of us. I thought it was going to be a yellow flag. Here we go. Good corner here. Racing Checo out of the pits. Oh, we got him, I think. Dude, we have no battery charge, but we got him. Got to be careful about this, though. Shoot, he's... How is he so much faster here? I'm trying to keep him to the outside. Let's go. Good defense. Left him space. Made him go around the outside. He couldn't take the inside. Then we just, we just stuck right next to him all the way through. Played him like a fiddle. Luckily, did not gain or lose any positions. And the big, the big pit exchange, ooh, that was not good. Ooh, he, he dropped back a little bit. He must have been using all of his battery, too. We have no battery here. So, I'm going to work on recharging that, get ready for some defenses as we need it. And it uh, looks like a couple more people are going to need to pit. The problem is, is we're kind of a sitting duck here. We are not going to get within DRS range of Max. But Hamilton and, and Perez are going to be in DRS range of us. So we're gonna have a bit of a bit of a train thing going on. We're a sitting duck, but it, you know, hopefully it works out so that on the, the last lap we end up behind them, and then we we kind of pass them at the last second, unless we have a, a chance to stay ahead of them. We're 6.6 .6 seconds, six tenths ahead of Perez. Just gonna try to do our best here. I don't think it's. I don't think it's gonna be enough though. Look at this dude. He's gonna he's gonna catch us so fast. Just spraying our sparks in his face. Try to defend the inside. All right. Bunch of laps of defense coming right up. Uh-oh. I mean, that could be a, a good or a bad thing. If we got a safety car and bunched everyone up, that might might work in our favor. It, it'd give us some DRS to help defend. If we could stick with Max, which there's no, no guarantee of that. He's going to have DRS here. We're sticking around six tenths, so we're we're doing we're doing all right. Use a little battery. Oh god. Okay. This this might be it. This might be it. Break, break, break. I think he's got us. He got us. But we're gonna have overtake mode now. So we I mean we've we've got a battle ahead of us, that's for sure. I mean not overtake mode, DRS, sorry. We're going to have overtake mode, too. We have been trying to charge a bit. Schumacher's been DQ'd. I don't know what that's all about. Stick with him, Trev. Stick with him. We can't We can't get under more than a second. I used a little bit of battery there. Our tires are starting to get a little bit more loose. We're going to have to be more careful, but we're, 
I'm gonna have to make sure we keep the speed up as well. Schumacher must have had some sort of an engine fault or something. Here we go. Come on. Okay, clear. DRS and overtake mode there. Let me get a, a good corner out of this. I'm using all of our overtake mode. I'm, I'm putting all my eggs in a basket here. Come on. Take it off to go up. Urus. Don't want too much speed. Back on it. Let's use it all. Use it all. Use it all. DRS. Overtake mode. We're down to 3%. I don't think we're going to be able to catch him. We're not going to be able to catch him. It's going to be all about the racing now, dude. All about... What? You're going to give that to me? No. No. I don't know if that was illegal or not. I mean, he was just kind of going slow through that corner. We stuck our nose in. The, I, I don't feel like we pushed him wide. He he hard veered out of the way. That was that was a very classy, very res respectful move by him. But it was also just completely giving up a position. I'm not sure why he did that. We got to stop dipping our tire off on that that curb there. Some of these curbs, they're like inverted. They're like a little ditch, and it really it messes you up. All right, let's let's not do that again, Trev. Use a little bit of battery here. Make sure we're staying ahead. I mean, he's just he's just going to get us on the next the next straight for sure. Yellow flag. Another yellow. Through this little final sector. Back to green, we're good. Oh, it's it's this. This sector right here is the yellow. I don't see Mick. He must be off back in that corner or something. Oh, there's Mick. Okay. I'm not sure what he's doing. If you're DQ'd, you should probably pull off and retire to the side. You know what I mean? Oh. He... Oh. I think we got DRS from Mick. And also, I think he slowed... I think he slowed down Checo and everybody. I was I was not ready for that. There, there's, there's something weird going on here. Between Checo veering off and just giving us the place back for some reason, and then... Mick being a, a moving bollard in the center of the track. Hamilton is just past Checo. I feel like we're being gifted something here, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be open to receiving it. 30% battery charge. Oof. That segment is is one of my one of my weakest on this track. I'm gonna use some battery here. Let's go. Go, go, go. Put some space in between us and them. If we can prevent them from getting DRS, then that's gonna solidify our spot. We've only got one lap left here. Around this way, beautiful. Break, break, break. 1.4 seconds in front of him. Wonder if we're gonna meet our moving bollard again. We're still 1.5 seconds ahead of him. That that chicane gets everyone so close together, it makes it look like they're more of a threat than they really are. Here we go. 1.4 seconds. Yeah, he's he is not gonna have DRS. He and Perez are gonna end up fighting that out. Let's go, baby. I do believe, unless we royally mess this up, this is gonna be a P5. 0. 0.5. I'm gonna use a little overtake mode here. We've got 18% left, dude. This it's so wide open though. It burns through it. He's oh god. He must have been saving a lot of energy because he is all over us here. Whoo! Come on. He is going to have a small stint of DRS down to the start finish. The finish line here. Just try to plant yourself in front of him. Get a good a good exit out of that corner and we got it. Oh my goodness, baby. We'll take it. Fifth place here at Spa. One of my favorite tracks. One of my best tracks, I think. We got driver of the day. Where'd we start? P8. So we gained three positions. Had a little back and forth, a little tussle with Checo. Nothing really too exciting about our pit stop, but uh, all in all, a great day. Hit both of our sponsor bonuses. Going to get an extra $318,000 out of the weekend. Got to love when that happens, and it's time to head back to HQ. Going to be taking on round 12 out of 16. The next one, the Dutch Grand Prix. Should be a fun one. We've had, is this a triple header? We've had back to back to back weekends. So not a lot of time to, to stock up on resource points and stuff, but um, we're, 
we're getting there. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.